Stay unbeaten in the league. Presumably, the mood around the camp feels unbeatable at the moment. Yeah, it's, um, it does feel unbeatable in a way, but we're also disappointed in a way. Uh, I think it shows the ambition of the team when, look, we're doing all right in the league, but when we draw a game, we're all disappointed. We, um, we're turning up every weekend thinking we can win. So if we don't, we're, we're not happy. You've only conceded three goals this month, or well, last month. Um, how important is that strong defensive unit to build from? Yeah, it's, um, it's obviously good for me. I enjoy the clean sheet. But I think I said in an interview uh, a couple of months ago, or a month ago or so, that uh, we might need to open up a bit to start scoring more goals and winning more goals. So it's just, it's just getting that uh, balance right. Uh, and I think we'll get there. Matt Taylor said at the, uh, at the end of the Walsall game that he was going to try a few more things in training, maybe change the system. How's that been during the week? Yeah, we've, um, we've assessed them, looked at them, and uh, we've changed a few things. We've kept a few things the same. Um, I won't give too much away in case anyone's listening, but uh, yeah, we've tried a few different things out. How's the squad reacted to that, though? Well, yeah, we're, we're professional football players. We've got a, a back. We can't stay the same every week because teams figure you out. So our job and the manager's job is to adapt to the ways that benefits us and can affect the other team as well. Do you feel more comfortable in the back four or the back five? I don't mind. Uh, I played I played a uh, back four probably most of my career games. So, but at the same time, I'm fitting in quite well to a back five here. So whatever's asked of me or whatever's best for the team. I'm asked to play. Personally, for you, you've had a couple of years of that inconsistency on playing time and, and uh, say, a few games here, a few games there. But for you, how important has been this season where you've played pretty much every league minute? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough two seasons before Exeter for me. But at the moment, that, look, that's what every player wants, to play week in, week out. I think you can only get stronger from that. I think the team only gets stronger from a consistent team doing well. Stephen Nidge are currently in 17th. Um, does Saturday give a real opportunity for the boys to kick on with a, another victory? Yeah, look, we, um, we've said we need to start winning more games and then draws into wins. But uh, at the moment, I don't think you can look at the league table and say you're playing 17th. I don't think anyone can get any ideas about any easy games because obviously if you look at the table it's very tight from top to bottom with only probably Forest Green on a good run at the minute so but look we, we know we're capable of beating anyone and um, we're going there for all three points So um, over the course of the season we've had uh, fans back we've had good numbers at away games Um what have you made of the City fans since joining and uh, they seem to love you already? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, look, I didn't, I've obviously didn't know much about Exeter apart from playing away and I've always had good crowds but they're, they're a very noisy bunch which is always good. Obviously, it's great uh, when we've not had fans for two years to get back in the stadium that's lively every week and even, even the away games. I think some... Um, some um, dedication to go some of them games in the numbers that they do and yeah it's fair play to them because when they get there the noise is well even if there's only a few hundred of them so yeah uh, very impressed with them so far